So a translation is a transformation that slides each point in the figure the same distance in the same direction. In a coordinate grid, a point moves things in two ways, to the right or the left by changing the x-coordinate. So if it's positive, we slide to the right. If it's negative, we slide to the left. To go up and down, we're going to change the y-coordinate. Positive, we slide up. And negative, we slide down. Okay. Now, example one, and we're going to do this together. We're going to draw the rectangle, the triangle, sorry. So the first point's one and two. So one, we start at zero, so it's one two up. One, two. This is point A. Point B is six, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and three up. One, two, three. And point C is going to be four, so it's one, two, three, four, and the second point is going to be six up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we have our point C. So this makes a triangle. So I want you to the points together. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to translate this figure three units to the right and five units down. So we're going to go three that way. Oops, sorry, sorry. We're going to go three that way, three that way, and then we're going to go down five. All right, so we're going to go that way and then down. So let's take each figure. So <clears throat> Use a different color, so three to the right, so let's use the red one. One, two, three, and then five down. One, two, not like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So this is point A, but we're gonna call it A prime. Point B is three to the right, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, something wrong here. Sorry, let me do this again. So A is going to be 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I was right. A prime. B prime is 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is going to be B prime. And finally, we have C. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is C prime. So now we put our triangle. <clears throat> and we have a triangle that was translated, right? So let's find the new points. Point A is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 4. And then down, right? So it's going to be 1, 2, 3 down. So it's negative 3. Point B is, let's start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 and then 1, 2. So 9 and negative 2. And point C is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 to the right. And Pahriva. Go 1 up. <coughs> so, what is the rule for this translation? Well, the rule for this translation is that and the way we write this is going to be x, y. And the rule it's going to be so what happened to every x so to uh, look at the difference between 1 and 4 it's pl 1 plus 3 is 4 6 plus 3 is 9 and 4 plus 3 is 7 so it was x was plus 3 and what did we do to the y so the 2 became negative 3 the 9 became the 3 became negative 2 and the 6 became 1 so that was 1 minus 5 right? so every point was subtracted for uh, by 5 what angles and sides are congruent? Well, every angle here, if you look at angle A and angle A, they're the same. Angle B and angle B, they're the same. And angle C and angle C here are the same. So angle A is congruent to angle um, A prime. Angle B is congruent to angle 
prime, angle C is congruent to angle C prime, right? And what are the sides that are meant? They're the same one. You can say that AB is the same thing. It's congruent to A prime, B prime. Um, AC is congruent to A prime, C prime. And BC is congruent to B prime, C prime. Um, on the triangle below, we want to draw those coordinates. So we're going to do negative 2, j is negative 2, so 1, 2, negative 2, 2 down, That's point j. k is 2 and 0, and 3 is 3 and negative 3, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 and negative there's our triangle. And I'm going to erase this because it's actually point L. Now, what are we going to do with this triangle? We're going to move it, right? So the X is going to be minus 4. So minus 4 means go that way, right? Because it's minus 4. And then plus 7 is going to be up 7. So we're going to go to the left, 4 and then seven up. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's J prime. K, same thing. Four to the left. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. K prime. And then L is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I put that L prime. And if you look at the triangle, the same triangle, right? So what is the description for this translation? We went four left and seven up. And again, if you, it's going to ask you for the angle. So again, angle J prime and angle J are the same. Angle K prime and K is the same. And angle L prime and L are the same. Likewise, JK is equal to J prime K prime, KL the same thing K prime L prime and uh, K and JL. JL is the same thing as J prime L prime. Okay. They're congruent. <coughs> So we'll do one more problem. So in this triangle, we have negative 5 and negative 2. So point X is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 2, and 2. And then X, Y is negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 0. And point Z is 2 and 3. 2 to the right, 3 up. And point Z. Make a triangle. And we're going to <coughs> the coordinates here. It says go four units down. So we're just going to go down here. So if it's going to go down, you're going to see. One, two, three, four. Change colors. Z prime. Y comes down four. One, two, three, four. Y prime. And X comes down four. One, two, three, four. X prime. So this shape, this triangle, moved down. So the new coordinates for X prime. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and negative 2. Negative 5 and negative 2, sorry. Y prime is going to be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 3, negative 4. And Z prime is going to be 
one, two, and then how many down? One, so two to the root and one down. What's the rule for this translation? Well, the rule for this translation is going to be x, y, and it's going to be the x, if you notice, stay the same, but the y minus and again, what angles the sides congruent, you can do that by yourself. <clears throat> so, here is asking you. It's asking you. For So, I think it's easier if you did the points. And then you find the rule. So, F is right here is 0 and negative 3. G is 5 and negative 2. 8, I is 0 and negative 6. And H is 5 and negative 5. Now the primes, which is are the points above here, it's going to be F prime is this one on top. So it's 0 and 6. G is right here, which is 5 and 7. I is going to be 0 and 3. And H is going H prime is going to be 5 and 4. So if you notice all the x, this is my x and this is my y, this is my x and this is my y. So look at the x's. And this is let's look at the x's here. This is the same, right? 0, 0, 5, and 5, 0, 0, 5, and 5. So the rule for this translation is that the x stay the same, so we're not going to do anything. But the y change went from negative 3 to 6, from negative 2 to 7, from negative 6 to 3, from negative 5 to 4. So for all of the y values here, we added um, 9. Plus y plus 9, and that's the rule for your translation. <clears throat> so for this one, it says here's a triangle move the triangle five units to the right. So we're going to go five that way. Make this a little bigger. Okay. So everything moves to the right five. So one, two, three, four, five. This is J prime. K is going to go one, two, three, four, five. And L is going to go one. Two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five. L prime. Right? The same exact triangle, but we moved it to the right. So what's the coordinate of k prime? Well, k prime is going to be negative three and three. What's the rule for this translation? So the translation was x, y. And if you look at it, the d. Did the y move? The y didn't move. So if you compare it, let's look at k here. k is negative 8 and 3. Right? So if you can compare this one, you see that the y values are the same. So nothing happened to the y. So the y, nothing else. So we're going to leave that. But the x changed. The x went from negative 8 to negative 3. So how does it be How does something change from negative 8 and get negative 3, so it has to be plus 5. It's negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So that's your answer. <coughs> so here they're asking us what happened to the triangle. So here's my original triangle. blue dot there and then it moved to the next one so it looks like the X moved to the right and then it went up to right so one two three to the right and then the triangle moved one two up one, two so description is three to the right 
and 2L. So the rule of the translation is XY. So X plus 3 and Y plus 2. Draw a translation with quadrilateral N and M and OP, four units to the left and three units down. So we're going to move um, this that way, four, and then that way, three down. Now, what's the rule for this translation? Well, so the rule for this translation is XY. So X minus 4 because it's going left and then down 3 and then Y minus 3. <coughs> so let's move this 4 to the left and 3 down. So let's go Q 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, that's point O, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, point P. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three. This is point ten. Right? This is the same exact. So now it's asking you which of the four is and that you can do it by yourself. So we have a rule here. I just want to write this down here. So A, 2 and 1, 4 and 1, 5 and 5. So A, B, C. And it's telling us that A prime is 5, negative 1. So let's find out the value. So here's a triangle ABC. A is 2, 1. B is 4, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And C is 5, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's my triangle ABC. And then they're telling us that A prime is 5 and negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then negative 1. Right here. So this is A prime. So how did the A move? So the A move one, two, three, three to the right, and how many down from here? One, two, and then two down. Right. So the rule for this one would be x, y. The x went plus three, and oops, plus three, comma, y minus two. And we have one more. Rectangle ABCD is, tra is translated. So rectangle in Pesuaki was from here. And it went from here to this. So did it go, went to the left? Did it go up and down? No. So just to the left. So point A went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It went 8 to the left. And B went 8 to the left, C went 8 to the left, everybody was left. So your friend says that the rectangle, rectangle was translated 5 units to the left. Explain the mistake was that was made. Well, the, tri the rectangle was not moved 5 space, but moved 8. So he counted from A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, A to B prime. That's not what he wanted. He should have counted from A all the way to the other A. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it should have been 8 to the left. Okay. Mm. Let's pause this for a second. So now these problems says slide eight left and five down. So that's not that too difficult to do. So eight left, five down. There's a point. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one, two, three, four, five. So there is my eight line. C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. So this is my point C. C prime, by the way. And B, it's going to be um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all the way down here. So this is B prime. So that's my triangle after translation of eight left, five down. Here, um, so here, same thing. We have a rectangle. We have the rule, which was plus eight and y plus 10. So we're going to go plus eight here, means that way, and then plus 10 means up 10. Okay, so point A, so eight, it's gonna be, so if you look at point A, is negative eight, negative two. So this is x plus eight, and then y plus 10. And negative 8 plus negative 8 is um, uh, uh, well, negative 8 plus 8 is 0. No, wait, hang on a second. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. Right. I wrote this wrong. So it's negative 8 plus 8, which is 0. Negative 2 plus 10 is negative 8. So a prime is going to be 0, negative 8, which is going to be here, 0, and negative 8. All right, plus 8. Something is not right here. Hang on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's right. Negative eight. And if we go to the right eight times, we end up at zero. So point eight is going to be zero. And then 10 up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right here. That's point eight. Fine. B, negative five, negative two. So negative five plus eight. So negative 5 and negative 2. So it's going to be plus 8 and plus 10. So that's going to be 3 and negative 8. So 3. No, uh, 1, 2, 3. And plus 8. And B is going to be here. And C, you don't even have to draw the other ones. C is over here. And D is over here. Here is your rectangle. <coughs> so again, here we have point P, which is 4 and 8. So I'm going to do this maybe. This may be good. Point P is 4 and 8. So it's saying we're going to do plus 4 and minus 5. So we're going to do plus 4 and minus 5. 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 minus 5 is 3. So point P, which was 4 and 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This was point P. Now P prime is going to be 8 and uh, 3. And that's P prime. Point Q is 2 and 6, so we're going to do plus 4 and minus 5. So it's going to give us 6 and negative 1. Q is 2 and 6, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And Q prime is going to be 6 and 1, 6 and negative 1.
what I should have done, I should have plotted each point separately uh, initially and then do the translation. R is 2 and 3. 2 and 3, yep. Yeah. And R prime. Plus four minus five. Our prime is going to be six and negative two. Six, negative two. And our prime is that one. P, Q, R. And then we have one more shape, which is shape S or point S, which is four and five. And we're going to do plus 5, minus 5. So that's going to give us 0 and 0. So point S, which is 4 and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our point S, so we have this little shape here. And point S is going to be. I made a mistake somewhere. Point S is going to be what? Zero and zero. Uh, eight and zero. Sorry. Yeah. Point Q prime, I think, is wrong. Or point R prime is wrong. Or should be. I made a mistake somewhere over here. Okay. Let's try this one again. So point A is 0, 0. So let me try that nicely. Point B is negative 6 and 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And point 6 is negative 6. And 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is my little triangle ABC. I'm going to go 6 to the right. Plus 6 means 6 that way. And 3 up. All right, so with 0, 0, if you look at point 8, which is 0, 0, we're going to do plus 6 and plus 3. 0 plus 6 is 9. Uh, 0 plus 6 is 6. 0 plus 3 is 3. So it's going to be 6, 3. So A is going to be 6, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 3 up. Here was 8. Okay. B should be the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 3 up. 1, 2, 3. C is going to be 6, and then 3 up. And here's my triangle. So this one, again, is the same idea. And we're going to go P5 and 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops. And 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is point P. Point Q is 7 and 4. 7. Oops. Point P. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, point Q is 7 and 4, and point R is 7 and 1, it's a very tiny triangle, we're going to move the triangle which way, we're going to look at this, so the X stays the same, so that's not going to change, but the y is going to be minus 5. So if you look at point 5, 3, which is point P, so it's going to be x is the same. So but this is going to be negative 5. So 5 comes down, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So that's 5, negative 2. So 5, and negative 2. This is point P prime. So everything is going to come down five points. So point R is going to be one, two, three, four, five, our prime. And Q is going to come down five. So one, two, three, four, five, and Q prime. Okay. 
Okay. And finally, not finally, we have a quadrilateral here. I hope it's a quadrilateral. Negative one and one. One and one. C is one and negative one. A, B, C, D. That's a square. <clears throat> and we're going to move this. So again, look at here. X minus 5, which means we're going to go that way, my 5 points. And Y stays the same. So everything moves 5 points to the left. So it's not that difficult. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this point A. Point B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Point D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can tell it's going to be these right here. A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So what happened to this image? So this is the first image and then it became this one. Obviously this triangle went this way and then went this way. Yeah, so we just gotta find out how many. So <clears throat> um, this point right here. Well, we can just pick one point. So let's pick this point right here. This point right here is one and then three up. So it's one, three. Now let me draw it over here. One and three. Let's call this point A. And let's call this A prime. So A went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten to the right. And then how many down? Oops, not ten. Try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to the right. How many down? And then one, two, three, four, and four down. So x plus eight, y minus four. And that's that sheet right there.